will close out Salt Lake City Summer League ball with the Memphis Grizzlies tonight. Spurs rookie guard and first round draft pick Joshua Primo had 11 points and a game high six turnovers in the Spurs loss Wednesday night. Primo and the Spurs, well, they just need more time to gel. I think it's just getting comfortable. Honestly, uh, we, we haven't played much together as a team. Um, so just getting that team chemistry going and then obviously just being more physical with it, being more aggressive. Um, not as tentative, being aggressive to score, and then that's going to be what's going to jumpstart a little bit of that playmaking. Allen goes back. To Former UTSA star Keaton Wallace is playing with the Memphis Grizzlies summer league team, and he scored 17 points in his debut Wednesday. Tonight he'll face the Spurs, looking to get better on the defensive end. I definitely do need to make some improvements on defense, um, uh, making, making, uh, you know, helping. Uh, uh, off the ball, things like that. I can tighten up on my own ball defense. Uh, I got beat a couple times today. Um, just team defense, playing the backside, rotating, and things like that. I can definitely uh, sharpen up on my defense. Spurs and Grizzlies play tonight at 6. Highlights on the night beat. Yesterday, UTSA football reported for fall camp ahead of practice today. They were picked to finish second this season in Conference USA West, and many of their players have received multiple preseason honors. Coach Trailer preaches don't eat the cheese, which he uses sarcastically, yet serious at the same time. And I'm not trying to be negative towards the people that pick that stuff. I'm very grateful without media and without that no one cares about us. So y'all have a huge, <laughs> a huge part in us. So it's fun to buy those magazines and talk about that stuff. But the very people that picked us last, last year are now picking a second. We already showed they don't really know what they're doing when they're picking. So we shouldn't put too much credit into all that stuff, right? So that's one angle. Uh, and the, uh, the other angle of that is just the very part of if you get so full of yourself and you, and you really believe all that stuff, are you still going to work as hard as you did last year? Yesterday, Texas A&M football reporter for Fall Camp and College Station and will practice today. Aggies expect to contend for the SEC Championship and National Championship this season. Heading into camp, defense is their strength and anchoring that unit is Judson alum DeMarvin Leal. We recently caught up with him at Rutledge Stadium where Leal said he's ready to lead the charge. My expectation is just to be able to be a leader of the defense line and of the defense and the team, of course, and just, you know, just make sure that we're at our standard and that we're all committed to our goal and just get after it this season. The Al and the Aggies kick off their season Saturday, September 4th, 7 p.m. at Kyle Field with Kent State. Guys. Thank you, Larry. Let's head over with Fiona. Fiona, it is Friday, and I just saw on y'all's Twitter, what's better, floats or milkshake? Mm, Ooh, I know, that's tough, right? But that is what we want you to be thinking about today. And also, well, you may know her from E! Entertainment and as the host of The Soup, as well as other hit TV shows like Californication, Two Broke Girls. See if you can guess the actress and comedian who's going to be joining us for some laughs today and how you can laugh out loud with her this weekend. And it is National Root Beer Float Day. Woohoo! And we've got our friends from Southside Craft Soda in the house making their version of Root Bear Soda. You get it? There's even an adult version, so we're gonna crack into that. And we are gonna escape to the tropics of Puerto Rico with a one-of-a-kind twist on sushi. Eclectic Eats is here. And then we're gonna work off all those foods and floats in our Get Fit Friday. And Marcella Freeman from Burn It in 30 joins us. And this is a great way to work out without a whole lot of equipment. And it's a giveaway. Yes, I'm gonna be giving all of this away today. And I will tell you how later. That's right. And you're also gonna get some workout moves in that yes. you can do at home. So stick around, you're gonna find out how you can win all that from Marcella Freeman and a whole lot more. And also, be sure to weigh in. Do you prefer milk shakes or root beer floats? Let us know at SA Live KSAT on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see how that shakes down. All right, if you'll be out and about this afternoon, keep in mind you may run into a pop-up shower or non-severe storm. Highs today in the upper 80s and low 90s as we head into the upcoming weekend for some kiddos. The last weekend of summer, it will be hot and sunny with highs in the mid-90s. Guys. Thank you, Katie, and that's all for our show for now. Thank you so much for watching us, and SA Live starts right, right now. now.
Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square, this is SA Live. Well, good afternoon and happy Friday. I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Now, Mike Osterhage is off today, but he will be back for our back to school special in prime time Tuesday night at 7 p.m. And it is Friday. It is just hours to the weekend. So we have made it. You know, is there a trophy for that? You know, there should be, especially this week. Well, maybe you can treat yourself with some laughs at LOL Comedy Club, where you are, will find our first guest this weekend. You know her as the most recent host of The Soup and from other hit TV Kelly shows Kelly. like Californication, Kelly. Two Broke Girls, Woo. and more actress and comedian Jane Catapretta joins Hi. us for some laughs today. Good welcome, morning. Welcome. How are you? Hello. Yes. We, we're going to two very different parties. I know, but I know, good morning. Right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, but it's warm outside. It's warm you know. outside. You know, it's 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 <laughs> thick. The weather outside, it feels like you're getting a hug at all right? times. It's very it's warm. Moist. Hug. Some moist, you know. <laughs> Can I say swamp butt? Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, what was it like doing the soup? The, it was incredible. I mean, like, I watch TV and judge it, just garbage reality TV. I ingest it. So, the fact that I got paid for it was like. <laughs> Is this the real job? Yeah, is this real? So it was incredible. What a great experience. I had a, a billboard, my crotch very large on Sunset, which was always a dream. That's so, when you know you made it. Yeah, I was like, oh my God, look at those high-waisted pants. Should have worn something different. But, now, when did you get started like doing comedy? Oh my God, when did the trauma start? Um, I've been doing stand-up for 14 years. I count COVID because I did some Zoom shows. And so, yeah, 14 years I've been doing it. Started at the Comedy Store in LA and, you know, just been crying through it ever since. Now, okay, you were born outside the country. I, I was too. I like that you yeah, say it like you that. Know. You crossed uh, the border. You did it. You, you, we both they got allowed here. you in. <laughs> yes. Okay, but you moved to Virginia at a young age. Yeah. Uh, what was it like, you know, just kind of, you know, experiencing the States? Oh, man, it was definitely, I mean, it's why I do stand up, yeah. definitely 100%. I'm, I'm kind of stuck in that gray zone when nobody knows that I'm Brazilian and nobody thinks I'm American either. So it's like this weird. And it, Virginia was such a weird place, you know, people would be like, what's it like to wear shoes? I'm like, it's fine. I miss going from vine to vine, but Virginia will do. You know, but it's made, right. it makes us who we are. And I love being Brazilian. I'm very proud of it. And that know? heritage, I mean, that influences your comedy, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm a little more naked than everybody on stage. I just do my set in a bikini. And um, no, it's cool. I feel like people can relate. You know, I think a lot of people are like in that kind of gray zone and they right. want to hear perspectives that are not just like a white male dude's perspective right. anymore so it's exciting to be that person yeah now you have some unique talents including oh, weird, oh, cool photo weird tongue twists i do i have some do tongue do tricks do okay <laughs> do you want to see if i can teach them to you oh my god okay we'll start basic there's five okay, of them okay all right okay so the first one's simple everybody can do this it's a genetic okay. thing okay pew, pew, pew. Mm -hmm. okay okay and then a uh, twist okay. side to side Wait, all right well that's no. that's not no close. you want to like wait all right, I'll give you a B minus on that one. Okay, um, and then there's a fold. I call this okay. one the fold. Oh yeah, there's no way. Yeah, uh-uh. We're learning yeah. so much about each other. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, we're learning so much. Wait, should we? And we just start making out? Okay, and then this is the most, like this, a crazy one, okay? Oh, there's no way, oh my gosh. This one gets no men, okay? And then this is like the spectacle. Can we get a drum roll? Okay. okay. Oh my gosh, I can't even My tongue it. is so disgusting. I haven't cleaned it. <laughs> Nobody told me I'd be doing this. Oh my gosh. Okay, so what's been your favorite show appearance as a guest star? Like oh man, that's a hard one. I'd say probably Future Man. Why? It was a very fun one. The day one, we were in an orgy, so I met a lot of great actors. We're just piled on top of each other, naked. Like, so where are you from? Um, and it was just a great experience. Like, cool set, beautiful people, and that was a really fun. And I got to just be like a dirty person at all times, <laughs> making my teeth yellow. It was fun. So you got in last night, but you yeah. haven't been to San Antonio? No, this is my first time. I already got yelled at for liking torchies. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's. There's, there's yeah. better places. Yeah, I'm gonna hit up HEB, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna go to a Spurs game, I'm doing it. You know, I bought a gun, I bought a gun. I don't know how I'm gonna get it to LA, but I bought okay. one. Okay, yeah. so you have the, you had your show last night. Yeah. Through the weekend at LOL Yes, Comedy Club. we're gonna be at LOL Friday. We have two shows tonight, two shows Saturday. Actually, tomorrow I'm also doing Doug Loves Movies, which is another, Doug Benson's in town, so we're gonna get together, do a little fun weird show All for right. everybody. Uh, there's some music, there's some dancing, Come out, it's gonna be a whole spectacle. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are about, because it is National Root Beer Float Day, um, we're going to be making um, some insane uh, root beer floats. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay. Because I'm we're going to get this a information. A root beer breakfast. <laughs> this information up yeah. on the screen real quick first. Let's do it. All right. We're going to catch Jade Cut of tonight and tomorrow night at LOL Comedy Club. It's at the Park North Shopping Center by the Alamo Draft House. Tonight's shows are at 7.30 and 9.45. Tomorrow night shows are at 7 and 9.30. You can find out more info on our website, salive.com. Just click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, as we mentioned, we are celebrating with Southside Craft Soda and their Root Bear Soda for National Root Beer Float Day. And Marcy Anguiano is here from Southside Craft Soda with some grown up root beer float recipes. Hey there. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> well, we're excited to be here on SA Live, especially on this beautiful Friday for National Root Beer Day and we got some fun stuff for you. So we're Jay, excited. What I'm gonna do is you're gonna make the boozy bear. So okay, that excited. one is amazing. And how we're gonna start off with that is we're gonna make a homemade whipped cream. So you're oh. gonna take one cup of heavy whipping cream. This is heavy whipping yeah, cream. Yeah, right pour it in there. Oh, it's thick. <laughs> <laughs> Just like it should be. Yeah, huh? right? And then um, you're gonna take one teaspoon of, or two tablespoons of powdered sugar. What if you guys cut here and I'm like doing a line of sugar? Okay, <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh my gosh, that'd be one. crazy. One, okay. Let's do this. There you go. Perfect. And then right there in those little tiny shot glasses, you've got one teaspoon of cinnamon, mm, one teaspoon cinnamon. of vanilla. Good for your digestive system That's while you're getting here. drunk. Uh -huh. great. Vanilla. Mm -hmm. And food groups right there. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. Everything you need in a breakfast. Yes. That one's breakfast. And then you're going to whisk it. And if we were at home right now, we'd be whisking ferociously. But ferociously yeah. whisking. Whisk it until it has things like Mount Everest. <laughs> But since we're short on time, we've already made some for today that's pre-made. Oh, so that's we're gonna set that off okay. to the side. No, that's okay. We want we're to see how long, long go. Go. Yeah, how long can you go? No, <laughs> we just want to see um, show people at home what they can do. Okay, awesome. So put that off to the side. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab one of those ice cream scoops in the black tin. Oh, okay. Yeah. Here we go. Leave it's it in nice warm water. Warm. That's a good trick. I know. And then we're gonna so, do scoop for this guy. <laughs> yes, that one. That's a honey vanilla bean from Ooh. our friends at Lick. But at home, you can use any honey vanilla bean of your choice so okay exactly put in that big mug nice Daddy. big mug. Nice a serious yeah. mug. do i do just one no i would do a several so put oh, okay. two maybe even three because look at the size of that you're glass, like several right? like two <laughs> several oh shit no that's okay. a, well it's gonna get mixed together anyway okay cool and then after that we're gonna take one and a half ounces of our brimstone whiskey one and a half ounces. Right there. This is one and a half. Yes. So pour that in there, and then we're gonna take Ooh. one ounce of our molasses rum, and these are from our friends at Balcones Distilling, which Look. is a Texas brand. Mixes very great with our profile here in the Texas root beer, and then we're gonna take the mesquite root beer. Oh, oh, not that's yet. Not, not We're yet. Gonna, okay. I'm getting, I got excited about <laughs> that. Is that the right one? One ice cold root beer from okay. Southside Craft Soda. Just gently pour that in there. I'm gonna do a tilt just because you know my bartending days. That's awesome. Yeah. Kind of experience. Got a little, you know. <laughs> All right, perfect. Oh, look so, at it bubbling. Ah, oh, oh, that's so fun. So we're definitely getting um, a nice foam top to it. And what this beautiful homemade vanilla cinnamon cream is is going to be the crown. So almost like the mm. aha of it, and it's going to make it perfect. Do a little more here, okay? Yeah. And then you want to just top it like. Yeah, be like generous. A, Scoop it out. Slap it on there. Wow, so the, you really got to whisk it to get it to this consistency. I, I mean, I would have been whisking for, for a minute. Yeah, some yeah. Of that, like <laughs> bicep workout right. in there. <laughs> okay, and then we just drop it in. Woo! Oh. Now we have a volcanic eruption. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay, do I want to mix it a little? Like this? And then you're going to top that off with one of those really chubby, nice, juicy maraschinos cherries. Perfect. And one. Good to go. All there right. you go. So you'll taste yeah, that. Go ahead. Let's try it out. All right. That's and our boozy bear. And now I'm going to start Ooh. over here with the next one, right? Which Correct. is? Correct. Fiona, you have the baby bear. So okay. we're going to start that with the caramel ice cream, again, from our friends at Lake Honest Ice Cream, but any one that you prefer. Okay. So you're going to just put some generous scoops in there. Got yeah, it. Just keep okay. going. Hold your cup so for you. what makes your, you know, you know, root beer different? So our root beer is definitely um, different because it's a spin on a traditional root beer, but it has that mesquite flavoring. We're very influenced by our brand with South Texas flavors. And everything that we have today is from Texas. So all of the profiles are sweet, they're mesquite, they're oak, and it just gives it that nice class that you need to an American drink. Mm -hmm. And pour that cold root beer right in there. 
you can taste it. It's smoky. Like you can taste a yes. little bit of a smokiness like to the, it. The yeah. profile of the flavors yeah. really come out with everything that's mixed together. And then you're gonna just squeeze it on there. And for the baby bear, it's really family friendly. Woo. You can do this with your kids. And then you get that <laughs> nice pop, that drip on the end there. Right in your you want <laughs> hey, that was great. Right, right, there we go. <laughs> And then to make it extra delicious, you're gonna wanna put some of that caramel sauce, just drizzle it on there, just, there it uh, goes, nice uh, and slow, just thread it across. Wow. Okay. And then you're gonna add some peanut sauce, if you prefer. I like peanuts on there, but. This is. That's just that, kinda difficult. That just, that's this is a workout. Not I'm, gonna home, go with the, I'm just gonna go with the actual nuts At home, right to here. make it a little bit soft, the peanut sauce, just put it in the microwave, but watch it closely. Then you put some of that floor to Ooh, salt, salt, which is like. So this is the trick to it get is. it to have that kind of salted caramel Correct. taste, right? So floor de salt is from France and it's a very high end salt. It's not used for cooking. It's used to enhance the sweetness. You're so like right Florida now, salt from France. <laughs> so France salt. It's a French salt, <laughs> but it's delicious. You get that nice kick in there. Um, Oh yeah, you is do. it good? Oh, good. oh yeah, you Should we do. cheers it? Mm. Should we cheer? Can you hold it? I don't even know what's gonna happen when I pick this up. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Cheers. All right. Amazing. Great job. Okay. And then, All right. Well, thank you so much. We're yeah, out of time. Absolutely. Okay. But for more information on Southside Craft Soda, go to our website essaylive.com and click on the As Seen on Essay Live tab. All right. Good. So, of course, these root beer floats are amazing, but. You know, are you a float or a milkshake person? Oh, I'm gonna go float. I just like a little more layer, you know what yeah. I mean? A little fuzzy, like, yes. mm, like yeah. So. <laughs> yes, all right, so that's our question of the day. What's better, floats or milkshakes? Go ahead and weigh in at SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter, and we'll see those answers a little later on in the show. All right, still ahead, our celebrity chat with one of Kevin Smith's crew from Comic Book Men. We're talking upcoming projects and comics with Ming Chen. But first, another way to keep the summer going, find those island flavors in SA. A local food truck is transporting people to the tropics one bite at a time. It's next on SA Live. back to SA Live. Well, they don't just sell food, they transport people to Puerto Rico one bite at a time. Emma Olivas, the owner of Eclectic Eats, is here to help us escape to the tropics with a one-of-a-kind twist on sushi. Cannot wait to try this because that looks so good. Okay, so we're making Puerto Rican sushi. How do we get started? Yes, it's super easy. So the first thing you're gonna do is um, you need to take the rice. Mm -hmm. And Can I get a paddle? Are we missing? Yes, we're missing the paddle. The paddle, okay. So I'm gonna put the rice- Right there. Right, right on, on this, right? Yes. Okay. We're gonna put it right here. Okay. The spoon. The spoon. <laughs> there you go. There we go, okay. Thank you so much, all right. So you're gonna put it here on the sushi sheet. And just kind of flatten it out. Yes, you're gonna flatten it out until you cover the whole seaweed. And, and that is arroz con gandules, which is um, the typical rice that we eat usually on Christmas um, in Puerto Rico. Oh, nice. And you, you make sure the rough side is up, right? Yeah, the rough side has to be up so it can stick. Okay. So you stick it like that. Very good, man. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible because we were looking for that spoon. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for a little okay, bit. Okay, now you flip it. Okay. Flip this yeah, whole flip thing? Yeah, flip this sheet. Mm-hmm. A whole thing over. No, just the, just the this sushi part. sheet. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. There you go. And now, mm -hmm. um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, we're gonna fill it with um, roasted pork and sweet plantains. Okay. So we're gonna do a couple of the plantains. Yes, you do like two, this. like a line. Okay. Grab some of the pork. And then you can grab some of the pork. Put that in here. Yes. And then we're gonna start rolling and it now you like a roll square, it. right? Yes. Okay. Now you roll it like a square. So what, how did you, you know, kind of start your own business? Well, um, I've worked um, as for the restaurant business for many years and I said that I was gonna, the next time I worked in the restaurant business was gonna be for myself. So um, I did, I got inspired to open my food truck since my family loved my cooking. So I was like, let's 
make some money out of this. Because <laughs> what did they say your cooking was at family gatherings? Every time they said that my food was money. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, okay, let's do this. No, I have a passion for cooking and serving people. I think um, it's not about selling the food, it's about um, taking people on a ride while they eat your food. And now I'm, this is the yes, butter, right? Yes, okay. that's the batter, that's the tempura batter. Mm -hmm. And now you roll it over there on the panko. And in order to get this, you know, like the breadcrumbs here to yes. stick. Yes. So what we we're do, the trick wrap it is one more time. Yes. So you roll it one more time after you bread it with a dry rub. So there so you we're go. So back here. You to do this part you again. You can work at the food truck now, Fiona. <laughs> no, I'd probably slow everybody down. Okay. There um, you go. So and that's it. What made you want to share Puerto Rican cuisine with San Antonio? Um, there's a many Puerto Ricans. The culture of Puerto Rico um, in Texas overall is very big. So I wanted to bring that flavor to the Puerto Ricans that are in um, San Antonio and in Texas so they can get that little flavor of home. And sometimes you can't go home, so by eating the food, you just transport yourself to instantly. back home. So it's instantly just one bite at a time, like you said. Now, where did you learn to cook? Where did the recipes come from? Um, my mom, I always watched my mom cook and my dad had a food truck, so I think I got it from both. Um, the flavor of my mom is it's unique and um, I don't consider myself a chef, but the passion for cooking just comes out on the flavor of the food. Now, did they? You know, did your mom give you an advice? Did your dad give you any advice? Yes, my mom and my dad both thought I was crazy because it's, it's a hard business to do. But the passion that you, if you have passion and you know when you hit the spot on your passion, you can you can make it work. <laughs> so now we're serving this in San Antonio and um, people from all over Texas come to eat at the, at the food truck, so. Do you have a favorite Puerto Rican dish of your own? Um, yes, my favorite is um, the typical plate, which is the roasted pork with tostones and, um, and the arroz con gandules. Mm -hmm. That's my favorite. It just brings me back home, and I think of the lechon cooking a la vara, and I just transport over there every time I eat it. All right, I'm gonna try and taste a yes, piece over there. Yes, you have to taste it. But we gotta, you have to sauce it. Oh, here we go. You gotta sauce it. And there we go. Is this just like this a sweet one, soy sauce? Or? A, yes, that's a sweet mm -hmm. so, soy sauce, and this is the house sauce. Okay, here we go. All right, so tell folks how they can find you and, and your food. Yes, truck. we are on 12157 Potranco mm -hmm. Road, and um, you can find us there Thursday through Sunday. And you can follow us on social media, on Facebook and Instagram. And we do all, all up updates. We have the menu online. We have everything over there. Okay. All right. Well, for more information on Eclectic Eats, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Still ahead. The new school year is here, so we're getting back into routines. This Get Fit Friday, we're going back to basics. Well, the end of summer doesn't mean the end of summer fun. Coming up, we have Adina Anderson here with Creative Lifestyle. Oh, 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 to show us some really fun family games. Uh, finally! <laughs> Well, the summer may be wrapping up, but that doesn't mean the fun has to stop. Isn't that kind of sad when summer's coming to an end, even though we're, you know, It doesn't have to we be. Work all <laughs> yeah, Dina Anderson, our favorite crafter, Yay. is here. And boy, all of this stuff here, but most of it you got in your own house, right? So it's yes. very inexpensive. Yes, and you can do it really easy. I, I order my groceries online, so I just went on there and ordered all the ice cream stuff, and I was surprised how easy that was to get. And then the metal thing, I just, I had that, but you can get those at a craft store as well. Um, it's just like a metal tin, and what's cool about that is you could put ice in it to keep your ice cream cold. Oh, great idea. Yes, um, or you could put it on a board if you want. And I just got all the different cones they had and all the different toppings, just whatever your family likes. Just put, It's kind of like a charcuterie board for ice cream. Did, so. you, did you find the little, um, little waffle bowls online? Yes. Really? Okay. I think it was H-E-B or Target. I don't remember where I got them, but um, all of this, I want to say probably H-E-B. 
<laughs> but even the chocolate ice cream cones and the waffle cones and all the toppings. That's such a great toppings. idea. And then if kids like sprinkles, they can yes. have them. If they just want plain ice cream, it's, you can mix and match if yes, you Yes, like and if you're out in the backyard, it's easy to do. So, yeah, it makes it very oh, simple. Yeah. Look ice, at you over there. And you ice, can dip it in help. the toppings, too. Yeah. Done. We're going to dip. <laughs> We're going to dip. Next. Do the marshmallows. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Who doesn't <laughs> love? Hey, I like that. Yay. You ever do this with balloons? <laughs> This is a really fun game you can play. All you need is paper plates. I think I got 250 of them for like a buck or something, the, the inexpensive ones. Okay. And if you already have them at home, it doesn't have to be a particular paper plate. Just let the kids go crazy with the deco art paint, paint them up really pretty and fun. And I just used a popsicle stick and a balloon. And then and you can then play tennis. And this is something they could play inside if it's a bad day, but I think we have sunny days till like December now, right? Okay. <laughs> we need these things in here for commercial breaks now. Isn't that fun? I know, this is great. Oh, uh, I can't, we gotta keep it going, can't drop it. Oh, okay, no. keep, keep talking, like an episode keep of talking to Dina. We're gonna do this for the whole segment. Okay, so then our next one is the ring toss, which is also the paper plates. So oh, I cut I out the this. center, painted it, and then this is just a paper towel roll. Paint that, and then just have the kids kind of toss them, and I'm horrible at this game, I really am. <laughs> oh, so you just cut, cut the center out? Yes. Take it together? Good to Yay. go. Okay, okay, all right, here we go, ready? Ready? ready. Uh oh. 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 Yeah, they fly pretty good like They're, frisbees. <laughs> maybe the other way. Yeah. Maybe you throw them. <laughs> oh, wait. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> And then the last game is make a basket with a ball toss. So these are just wiffle balls, and that is just a sheet of foam board. You can even get these at like CVS, Walgreens, any of the craft stores have them. Okay. And, and the solo cups. <laughs> and if you're going to cut these, don't do it like Adina did, because I think she used to make up the games, you know, sometimes at the, the carnival, but you can't win because... You can that, do it! Here we go. Let's see if you can make fits. a basket. Yes. I've been trying this. For I know about you can do this. Three hours you can do now. it. <laughs> you have the good luck hat on. Well, you know what makes it easier is you have a cocktail with it. Okay. And so you can make a really easy, yummy, quick cocktail while you're playing that. Yeah. I'm going to juice this up. And it's just some I'm like wine. your ball girl. Okay. I know. <laughs> and yeah. some. There you go. <laughs> the ball girl. Okay. <laughs> He's never going to get it. <laughs> is this a. That, does anyone get this? I don't know. <laughs> uh, right. Well, you gotta have we a cocktail. Cocktails. That makes it easier. Okay. So just add your favorite fruit in here. I just grabbed this at the grocery store. Uh, sprig of mint, some lime. We'll throw some lime inside of it. What's cool is this is a yummy, healthy cocktail, kind of, because it's got all the fruit. You add a shot of your Enchanted Rock vodka. Like this is that. our Texas vodka. The, the healthy cocktail, because it's <laughs> yes. got fruit in it. But you know what's cool about this cocktail? You can make it a mocktail for the kids. Just don't put the vodka in. And they have a nice fruity drink, and it's just club soda. That's it. There's no sugar in this, except for the fruit. So it is kind of a healthy cocktail. A okay. nice summer breeze cocktail with all the fruit and the, look how pretty that is. Oh, that's great. And, and I love this idea. Little mason jar. Anytime you put mint, a mint sprig I on know, something right? like that, it looks fantastic. <laughs> yes. Now okay. folks can find all these ideas on, on your my website. Blog, right? Yes, definitely. CreativeLifestyles.tv, all of this is on there already. Still ahead on SA Live, a feel-good story to end the week. This Hill Country restaurant is always paying tribute to the military, how they're honoring Purple Heart recipients this weekend. And next, it's a Get Fit Friday with Barnett and 30. We're getting back to the basics ahead of the school year. Live. Well, back to school means back to routines, and Marcella Freeman, creator and founder of Burn It in 30, is helping us get back to fitness too. Hello, hello. Thank you so Hi. much for being here. Thank you for having me. So what are some of the first steps folks need to do if they need to start their fitness routine or kind of get back into it? First thing is have your goals clear. Okay. You know, have a goal. When do you want to achieve it? Be realistic. Don't try and say, I'm gonna lose 100 pounds in one month. You know, you gotta be realistic. What can you actually do? Because if you're a mom, you're busy, like don't give yourself wanting to work out for three hours a day, all you got is 30 minutes. Right, so if it's like a lifestyle choice. So you wanna write down those goals? Yes. Okay. Yes, very important to write them down. Maybe even share them with someone. Mm -hmm. So that way you have that accountability. Accountability, yes, yes. somebody yes. keeping you on track. And with that said, and, and kind of what you said earlier, keep it simple. Don't, yes. don't, 
try to go for yes. the stars here. <laughs> Especially with your nutrition. Sometimes you overcomplicate it and, and it's just too much and then you just give up. Right. So just keep it simple. Start eating better, start working out. You know, even if you just start with two or three days a week, just keep it simple. Something that you know you can sustain long term and it's not just for 30 days. Even. Right, right. And sleep is incredibly important yes. too, right? Yes. Which is tough if you're busy parents. Okay? Absolutely. And believe me, I, I struggle with that because you want to get all the things done when the kids are asleep. Mm -hmm. But it's so important that you do recover at night. You get your at least six, seven hours of sleep so you can feel good the next day. Because when you don't get enough sleep, then you're in a bad mood, you start craving things. And yeah, I would just recommend try your best to prioritize your sleep. And speaking of prioritizing your sleep, prioritize your health, right? Yes. Yes, because one thing I always tell my clients is like, you gotta take care of you so you can take care of others. And that includes your kids, mm -hmm. right? So it's so important that you know that you gotta take care of you to have that immune system strong and that you're able to be your best for others. Because that's what it starts with, just those yes. baby steps. And like you said, even if it's just a couple days a week, that's your starting point, right? Yes. And then you just yes. increase it from that point on. So how can folks get a good workout when they don't have a lot of equipment at home? Yes, so well, last year I created this line of equipment that you can use at home or anywhere, and it's very minimal, and you can work out every single muscle group in your body. Okay, so, let's talk about what you have here. Yes, <laughs> so the first set is uh, we have resistance bands, and we're gonna actually gonna do some exercises with them. Okay, it's actually this one. Here, take this okay. one. Okay, all right. And the first thing you're going to do is step on the resistance bands and these you could take with you to a, tri a trip if you travel somewhere. You can do shoulders, so you're going to do upright rows right here and you can go out this way to work your shoulders as well, okay. We can do bicep curls, so you can work out your biceps. Now. This set comes with an attachment that you can do back exercises, you can do a lot of other exercises. So these are just some of the upper body workouts you can do. And then we also have some booty bands. So this one, you're gonna put it on. It's such a fun name. <laughs> How yes. bad is this gonna burn? <laughs> it's gonna burn good. And the only thing is you're just gonna come down and do some kickbacks. Okay. And you go back this way, or you can go back to the side. Okay, so stay low, keep your yes. knees bent, right? And go out to the side. Yes, and then, you know, this you can use again anywhere. You can take them somewhere, you can work out from home, you can go back and side right here. Okay. And eventually you start feeling that burn. Okay. Now the one you have is the easy one. This one right oh, here I don't is even pretty want hard. To. Okay, so, we're, <laughs> so we're, we've got about yes. 15 seconds left, but you have a great offer for folks watching today, right? Yes, yes. So I am offering um, a seven-day trial to anybody that goes to our website, burnin30.com, and fills out their application. We will give you a free seven-day trial. Also, I'm going to be doing an amazing giveaway on my Instagram page. So if you follow me, I will be posting it right at 2 p.m where I'm gonna give out all of this stuff you see right here to one lucky winner. And you can get 20% off on all of this if you go to our shop. All you gotta use is the code SA Life. All right, and folks can find you on Instagram with the handle? Marcella Freeman. All right, thank you so much. For more information on Burn It In 30, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Next on the show, a heartwarming military story at this popular hill country, Cocina, on this Feel Good Friday. Keep it here on SA Live. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, this Saturday is National Purple Heart Day, a day dedicated to honoring service members who made the ultimate sacrifice on the front lines. It also honors military personnel who have suffered a life-altering injury due to combat. Now, one veteran-owned Hill Country restaurant is planning their second annual Purple Heart event this weekend. Compadre's Hill Country Cocina was just named Best Mexican Restaurant in Bernie by Explore Magazine. But they are much more than just great food. Take a look.
the, the recipes are the same. We, st we stick with, uh, we'll never change, you know, the, the, my grandma's recipes, whether it's from the rice, the beans, uh, the, the queso fajita, that's my recipes. You know, it's kind of kind of something I just came up with. Um, but we do have a few new items. Uh, we kind of change it every now and then. Uh, you know, before we, we did brisket. You know, brisket was one of those items that was, it was, uh, it was an event every time we did it because we didn't have we didn't have it all the time. So we did it maybe once a month, but this time we decided to do it uh, every Saturday for the summer. And I, it's, I mean, it sells out quick. Chef Mark Sierra is known in the Texas Hill Country for his delicious food. But Compadre's Hill Country Cocina is also a veteran-owned restaurant that takes pride in honoring the military. This event for us is, uh, again, uh, a way to actually show the recipients uh, our appreciation, not just via from me, my family, but also from the entire Texas Hill Country community and the uh, uh, a lot of sponsors, uh, small businesses really. Uh, this year I decided to go with small veteran owned businesses uh, because I'm, I'm just trying to keep that camaraderie there so it's a lot easier. Obviously our, our buddy, our gringo, Goldberg, he's gonna be here. Uh, Tamara's gonna be here with Bubba. Uh, this year we, we uh, added a couple more to the uh, lineup which are gonna be our guest speakers. Uh, I'm gonna have a uh, my retired Lieutenant Colonel that I served with in Iraq in my, my last tour, the uh, 09 2010. He'll be here. Uh, we're working with the local uh, Hope for Heroes, Brad Cornell. He's going to be a speaker. With everything going on, you know, uh, it's just important to uh, keep on instilling those uh, family traditions, values, the way we grew up. Like a lot of these other businesses around here, you go to Magas, it's family oriented. Mary's family oriented, you know, El Rio family oriented. So that's one of those things It's very important to us to keep the tradition alive, uh, to keep the true American values going, you know, where we can not just look out for ourselves, but as a veteran, it's one of those things where we feel like we have to look out for everybody else, uh, you know, lead by example, pretty much. This year's event is closed to the public, but you can support the family and veteran-owned business by stopping by and enjoying the delicious food. Everybody here, everything from uh, law enforcement to uh, first responders, uh, heck, even, you know, the uh, we get a lot of state troopers here, Border Patrol, uh, U.S. Customs, uh, Homeland Security, I mean, but the majority the you know uh, of what we get is it is military and veterans so yeah and this the way you see it now that's the way it is every day <laughs> and the inspiration behind the food here chef mark's grandmother the inspiration of my grandmother she's the one that keeps me going i mean every every time i hit a milestone or or like you know we just got voted uh best mexican food in bernie for the explorer magazine the so as soon as we found that out, I was just like, you know, it's 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 her it's her thing. So. All right. Well, Compadres is always finding ways to honor the military and first responders. So be sure to follow them on social media for upcoming events. And we have their links on SALive.com. All you have to do is click on the as seen on SA Live tab. All right. Up next. He's on a reality TV show about a comic book store and the host of a popular podcast. We catch up with Ming Chen in a brand new celebrity chat. Keep it here. Well, you may know him from the reality show Comic Book Men. Ming Chen is an actor, a podcast host, and the tech expert for Kevin Smith's comic book store. Now, I caught up to him to find out what he's working on now, what sort of comic books he's reading. It's our latest celebrity chat. Take a look. Joining me now is actor and producer Ming Chen. Hey there. Hey, how are you, Fiona? How's it going? Doing well. Very excited to talk to you and get to see you. Let's talk about what you're currently doing. I mean, you're currently working on the I Sell Comics podcast, right? Tell us about it. Yeah, I have a podcast where I talk about pop culture and new comic books come out every Wednesday. So we read and review those, tell people which books they need to read. But beyond that, I'm in the podcasting world. I open up a podcast studio. I love what you've got on the wall behind there. Is that Fantastic Four? <laughs> That is an old Fantastic Four poster that is vintage. Um, posters like this kicked off, you know, the Marvel Cinematic Universe. So this is where it all started. And, uh, you know, I, I got to I gotta pay homage to my roots for sure. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so Ming, you worked with actor and director Kevin Smith on Comic Book Men. What was that like? Uh, that was amazing. So 
Uh, I worked with Kevin. I worked with him for 25 years. He opened up a comic book shop, which was a dream come true. I got to work in that shop. And, you know, what's cooler than working in a comic book shop? Working in Kevin Smith's comic book shop. What's better than working in Kevin Smith's comic book shop? Working in Kevin Smith's comic book shop, and they put it on TV. And, uh, you know, I, I got to joke around with my friends and, and geek out and, and, you know, be myself and meet cool people like Stan Lee and Adam West and Ralph Macchio. And they put that all on TV. I'm a, I'm a very lucky fan is what I am. What have, what are you, some of your favorite comics from when you were a kid? I, I love the Avengers. Uh, when I was a kid, I got a copy of the Avengers 214, my very first comic book ever when I was six. I still have it, and that kicked it all off. Then I learned about Spider-Man and Batman and Superman, and uh, and now all these characters that were on you know, a printed page have come to life in the movies uh, you know, 20, 30, 40 years later. So it's a, it's a good time to be a fan. Uh, actor, producer, and podcaster Ming Chen, thank you so much for your time. Such a pleasure to chat with you. Monday on SA Live, are they flowers or dessert? We'll take a bite out of these bouquets and find out how you can give this incredible gift to someone in your life. Plus, want to get in on the Olympic action? We're showing you how to take archery, javelin throwing, and pole vaulting to a level the whole family can compete in safely. That and more Monday at 1 on SA Live. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. All right, earlier we asked you, what do you like better, floats? or milkshakes, all right? And Roxanne weighs in, she says floats all the way. Rachel says, I love strawberry milkshakes. Vanessa says, can't decide, it's gotta be both. I like your style. And Valerie says milkshakes, apparently all the flavors. <laughs> and Lisa Ann says, I love milkshakes, but big red floats are the bomb. I could, you could always have one, okay. And then Janie says, malt, malt milkshake, please. All right, love that. All right, we will see you Monday at 1 right here on SA Live. Have a great weekend.